My name is Brock Marquez. Joseph Frederick Bova. My name is Caleb Courtney. My name is Mike Fisher. My name is Javier Matson. Uh, my name is uh, Zachary Dancy. At Fire Camp, we went through uh, S212 uh, chainsaw class. Uh, we also did a wildland um, first aid course. Uh, it was snowing on us the whole time. Um, we torched a couple trees on fire. That was pretty cool. We we did some some burn piles, and we learned all the basics as far as firefighting is concerned. Uh, so this prescription, we're out off Millwood Road, just north of Mancus, Colorado, felling ponderosa pine. The plan is, yeah, to eventually put fire on the ground. Um, it takes a while to get used to. The work is tough, very hard, very demanding. Um, it's gonna get you fit pretty quick. You're gonna be dirty. You're gonna do chores, saw maintenance. Uh, they're gonna PT you regularly. Every day, 6.30, do breakfast, get our gear ready, do calisthenics, go over our JHA. From there, we move into the work day. After work, we'll stretch, and we'll move into saw maintenance and dinner. Usually have the night to yourself to sit around the fire and hang out with the crew. And we do that for eight days in a row. Uh, I got out and pretty much immediately came to this program. Um, as far as being a veteran with infantry background, that, that doesn't translate to a lot of jobs. So when I got out of the Marines, I just went straight into college and I was an even worse fit. So. Um, being outdoors and getting into this kind of line of work, you know, the fresh air, it really helps um, to pick you up. Before I came here, I was pretty lost. I didn't really know what I was going to do. And I needed a sense of purpose. I needed uh, some excitement, you know, and I needed to be around other uh, infantry guys. Coming out here, you get to camp for eight days, and then you have six days off straight. It's perfect. You have a lot of recreational time to do whatever you need to do. Uh, I personally moved here, found a house, and I'm enjoying every bit of it. This program pretty much for me, over the few years that I've been in, from Arizona, New Mexico, and now in Colorado as a crew leader, has been an honor and a privilege to be able to lead and just work alongside other veterans. I love sawing. It's probably one of my favorite things to do as far as work is concerned. So. I thought Veteran Fire Corps would be a great fit for me. So far it has. I'd like to keep on going with this program. Um, the Veterans Fire Corps means a lot to me. I've been doing this for a few years now and this definitely takes the cake. I plan on getting into either production logging or um, wildland fire probably with a shot crew. I plan on going back to Minnesota after this program and uh, get into uh, wildland firefighting. I want to get on a hot shot crew. Hopefully someday doing, doing fire is my biggest thing just because what I did in the Navy transitioned so well to doing fire in the civilian sector. Uh, if you're a veteran and uh, you're thinking about coming out to Colorado Fire Camp and uh, doing the SCC program, you're gonna face some challenges, but uh, overall, the knowledge and experience you gain from this program is second to none. This is a really good program to come to. I work with I mean, two other O3s, you know what I mean? So I can straight up talk the same language on those days where I'm having a rough day. And it's nice, I mean, we all watch each other's backs, uh, help each other get better. SEC is, is an organization I've found like no other. You know, they care about their employees, they care about the people who are going through the program. Uh, for all the, the veterans that are on the fence thinking about joining this program, um, go for it, do it. Uh, this this program definitely I'll say without a doubt changed my life Yes, yeah. yes